Okay, here we're supposed to discover the function that will, when we integrate it, it will result in an arc tan. And uh, this, we're going to do this similar to what we did with arc sine uh, just a few, few little while ago. So we'll start with y is equal to arc tan of x over a. Exact same thing we did with sine, except we'll do it with tangent. And what we did before is we took sine of both sides, so we'll do the same here. So tangent of y is equal to x over a. And this will be our angle. This is y, which means that x is our opposite side and a is our adjacent. Since this is a right triangle, this side will be the square root of a squared plus x squared. Okay, so now differentiate this with respect to x and we get secant squared of y times the derivative of the inside from the chain rule. We have dy over dx equals derivative of x over a is 1 over a. So now secant squared is 1 over cosine. So I'll write this as 1 over cosine. 1 over cosine squared of y times dy over dx is equal to 1 over a and multiply both sides by cosine squared I'm left with dy over dx is equal to 1 over a cosine squared of y well what's cosine of y? cosine of y, here's our angle, is a divide root a squared plus x squared so now we have dy over dx equals 1 over a cosine squared, which is adjacent, divide hypotenuse. And you can see we're going to have some canceling here. So we'll have dy over dx is equal to a over, and then that square root and square will cancel a squared plus x squared. Okay, so here's our derivative. So if I had a 1 over a right here, then this a would cancel. And that will be our general formula that we'll use. So the integral of 1 over a squared plus x squared dx will be 1 over a arc tan of x over a plus c. This will be your general formula.